This is an unboxing of a Marineland rimless 25 gallon tank. Brand new on the market. We're going to set this up as a simple saltwater tank. Okay, this is our 25 gallon marine land setup. We're going to do a regular, just plain saltwater setup, and we're going to unbox all the things that we got here, and I'll explain one by one the reason that I got each one and what it's for. Okay? Okay, basically, we're going to go and um, pull out the substrate here. It's one of the best substrates out there. It's called Carib C. And the reason it's so good is because it's got nitrifying bacteria already in it. It's called live sand. And it's the best starter substrate for any saltwater tank around. So that'll get your, your um, biological pumping right away. It's basically to cycle the tank as far as the nit nitrification, denitrification process. Well, once it gets put into the um, tank, you add the RO water and you uh, add the, um, the buffer, the, the 8.3 buffer, and the salt, and you can either A, make it a regular fish-only tank, or you could put live rock in there, and I would only recommend like 10 to 15 pounds to make it interesting, and that's it. That's the start of your coral reef system. One of the most important things in your tank is maintaining a constant temperature between 77 degrees and 80 degrees for coral reef systems and or fish systems which are salt water. And it's recommended 3 to 5 watts per gallon. So you multiply the amount of gallons that you have times 3 to 5 and then you come up with a wattage that is on a heater. This particular one is an Aquion Pro 150 and it is a shatterproof. Um, so it won't harm the fish, it won't, you know, do anything bad in your tank, and it is guaranteed for three years. One of the best in the industry, Aquion Pro 150. Filtration, one of the most important things in any tank, but especially in a saltwater tank. Um, the rule of thumb is ten times the amount of gallons that you have in a tank. So if you have a 25-gallon tank, you want to do a filter that does at least 250 gallons an hour. But it's more importantly, it is more importantly to overfilter in a saltwater tank because you don't have any adequate aeration in the tank, and this will aerate more in the tank versus a normal freshwater tank. And also, it does biological, chemical, and mechanical. This is an AquaClear 70. It does 300 gallons of water per hour. It is one of the most reliable. It does chemical, biological, and um, mechanical. The best way to um, prime this is to fill it to this line over here and then with water and then put it on the low setting. That is full to the left is low. And then if you go back and forth, it basically suctions out and primes itself once there's water in the system. To clean it, it's very easy. You lift up, pull out, and then you clean with a brush on the insides every single month and you will never have problems with your filtration system. Likewise with your media, the media goes in there, whether you want to use the carbons that's um, uh, given to you by them or you want to put a high resin in there, this is where the media would go and the biological on top.
The biological filtration is a nitrification, denitrification bacteria that gets hold on, held on a special media. Um, basically, you have some kind of uh, like live rock or some kind of substrate that the, the filters can actually, you know, the bacteria, excuse me, the bacteria can actually live on the media itself. Uh, the mechanical is the actual movement of the water. So you want the water to be moved at least 10 times to 15 times an hour. Uh, the chemical is the carbon or the resins that you put into the filter and that binds to any kind of uh, inorganic solids or any of the waste products that are in the tank and it helps to clean out the tank on a monthly basis or a daily basis. The reason we have two is we're over filtration. In a saltwater tank it's very important to go over and above the 10 times because what happens is there's not an, an aeration or sufficient aeration with the uh, tank, with the water in the tank. And you want to make sure that there's enough oxygen in there. Now with saltwater tanks you can't put an air pump in there because then you'll get too much of what's called salt creep, which is evaporation of your water and then there's salt all over the place and you don't want to do that. So in other words, to make up for that difference, you want to over filter your water and then that takes care of that problem for you. This is Chemi Pure Blue. It is the newest product added by Boyd Enterprises. Chemi Pure Blue is basically for saltwater fish tanks. It is a resin that also has ferric oxide in it. The ferric oxide binds to the phosphates that's in the tank and it keeps your phosphates low. Keeping your phosphates low means you don't have any algae whatsoever. So this is like mother's milk in a saltwater tank. This little one does 35 gallons and it lasts up to four months. So it's very economical as that goes because you're not changing it every month like you do other media. And all you have to do is take it out once a month, rinse it, and then put it back in the tank and you're good to go. Marine buffer, extremely important for a saltwater tank because you want to keep the tank at around 8.2, 8.3 pH. Okay, and the thing I like about this product, Seachem, is that if you make a mistake and overdose it, it won't harm the fish at all. All it will do is buffer the water to an 8.3, which is a perfect pH for corals, invertebrates, and fish. You follow the back, the directions on the back. It is one scoop per every 10 to 20 gallons. That's a coral. It kind of, it kind of is mimicking the natural agroporas in the ocean. So if you're not doing a coral reef system, and you want like agripores or something natural looking, there are things at the different uh, pet shops where you can actually mimic what the corals actually look like in the wild. And they do a very good job of doing that. This is an infrared quick net net. One of the reasons that I like this is because most fish uh, actually can't see this when you're chasing them. So you put one in front and one in the back and you can catch them very quickly when you want to change your tanks out. Uh, put them in a hospital tank or just, you know, whatever you're going to do with the fish. It's a very simple way to catch them. This is a very cool product. This is so Uncle Chucky doesn't break his neck and fall on his ass. <laughs> no, basically, <laughs> this is a aqua spill mat. Basically, you can put this down on hardwood floors, tile floors, and it soaks up the water. It doesn't mess up any of the floors and also um, is sticky on the floor. So Basically, if you slip, you can't slip on this. It'll give you a good grip on the floor and, and it's very safe when cleaning aquariums. So this I would consider a must have. Yeah. Very cool. Sea salt mix. This particular one is by Oceanic. It does 50 gallons and it is one of the best salt mixes out there. It has all the calciums, uh, magnesiums, all the minerals that your, your fish could ever need. And it is great um, because it also um, mixes very very quickly so you don't have any problems with uh, cloudiness or anything like that it also will buffer your water to an 8.3 to 8.2 so that helps with that also this is a media bag this is awesome sauce because it's velcro basically when you take this out of the bag you can put your biological media in there and it will never spill out or anything like that the biological media is what I talked about where you're putting the um, bio beads into the filter for whichever filter that you have. But the nice thing about this is it Velcro shut. 
and opens up. So it's very easy to put in, rinse your media out, close up, and you'll never have to worry about anything falling out or anything like that. This, your Deep Six Hydrometer. By far, one of the best hydrometers and most accurate ones out there on the market. Uh, one of the tricks to this is, though, every time you use it, you want to rinse it out with regular tap water so salt deposits don't go on the inside of the hydrometer and give you false readings. So, Deep Six, highly recommended. Hydrometer is basically records the gravity of the salt. And in saltwater aquariums, you want to be between 1.021 and 1.026. 1.021 .02 to 1.023 is for fish only and then 1.024 to 1.026 is for invertebrates and nano systems, nano reef systems and reef systems. This is a mag float. They make uh, different ones and different sizes. The two types that they make are for one glass or two acrylic tanks. This one is basically for a glass tank and you deposit the, the one side on the inside and the one side on the out and then you just rub it gently back and forth and it gets rid of your, gets rid of your algae very simply and easily. I would recommend doing that once a month because once the algae gets stuck on the tank and the glass it's very hard to take off and then you'd have to purchase a blade uh, scraper to scrape the glass to get the algae off of it. But this does a great job if you do it on a consistent basis. This is high carry foods. This is the Marine S blend. It's basically one of the best foods out there on the market. It doesn't put phosphates or anything into your unwanted nitrates or anything like that into your fish tank. Um, it is very healthy for your fish. It gives them a complete and balanced diet. And one of the other cool things is that NASA uses this. So, if, you know, it's very high quality food for, for animals. This is Eheim Substrate Pro. In my humble opinion, one of the best biological media out there on the market today. It gives the nitrifying bacteria millions of crevices to um, basically grow on. And the other thing that's really cool is they're all s s uh, spherical balls. So basically what that means is there's more um, surface area when the water is passing through it. And that's exactly what you want in a biological filter media. This is what's called prime water conditioner. The nice thing about this is it detoxifies heavy metals if you have an emergency and you have to use regular tap water. This is a master saltwater test kit. Basically this tests your pH high range, ammonia, nitrate, and nitrites. I also purchased a phosphate test kit um, and then if you're going to do a reef or a nano reef, you also want to purchase a magnesium and um, calcium and carbonate hardness uh, test kit. Most of your fish stores will test the water for you, but they will only test the water for you for certain parameters. On a monthly basis or even a weekly basis, if you're having trouble, it's much easier for you to do this and test it at home and, rather than going and driving uh, water to your your local pet shop that does specifically reef or saltwater tanks to be able to test your tanks.